Hello students, welcome back to ch my channel. Today I am going to give you six latest defense updates. Number one, China's KJ-600, a report. While the Indian Navy uh, uh, ultimately chose a different path, China's People Liberation Army Navy is gearing up for its future aircraft carrier with the KJ-600, a deck-based airborne early warning and control aircraft. Before the KJ-600 emergence, the Indian Navy explored the possibility of using the Northrop Grumman E-2 Hokkaido for its upcoming indigenous aircraft carrier envisioned as a 65,000-ton behemoth. Next, BrahMos missile set sail for Philippines. India is gearing up to deliver the first batch of BrahMos anti-ship cruise missiles to the Philippines by the end of March. This shipment marks a significant milestone in the growing defense partnership between the nation. Greek next Greek defense experts advocates for Indian BrahMos missiles. Emmanuel Marios Economou and Nikos K uh, Kyriazis Academics from University of Thessaly in Greece have sparked debate with their recent proposal. They advocate for Greece to acquire the BrahMos cruise missile system, developing jointly by India and Russia for deployment in the eastern Aegean island. Next, turbofan engine development. A report. HAL has provided an update on the 25 KN Hindustan turbofan engine that is HTFE25 revealing that two core engines have been produced and are currently undergoing development trials. However, the information remains consistent with reports from the past three to four years raising concerns about the program's progress. Next, Order for Precision Approach Radar. Astra Microwave Products Limited has secured a significant order from HAL for the supply of a precision approach radar system. The contract value stands at 56 crore and includes a comprehensive annual maintenance contract spanning 10 years. Next, India rejects China's invented names for Arunachal Pradesh. The Ministry of External Affairs today firmly rejected attempts by China to rename places in Arunachal Pradesh and asserted that assigning invented names will not alter the reality that the state is or has been and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. Thank you.